What's up guys, I'm making this video to explain what, why voltage uh, stays constant in a parallel circuit versus why its uh, voltage potential drops are different in a series circuit. So to understand voltage, it's good to understand current. So current, you can think about that as the flow of electrons through a circuit. So here, the current has no choice other than to remain the same throughout the circuit because it only has one path. It's going straight down the road. You can think about it that way. And whenever you're confused, just think about this equation, V equals IR. So like I just explained, the current has no choice other than to go down this path, which means that throughout the series, the current is staying the same. And if the current is staying the same at each resistor, like right here, and the resistance is changing because, as you can see here, you have 10 ohms here versus 5 ohms there. When you're calculating the total voltage drop across the circuit, you can think about it like this, R1 plus R2. In other words, the voltage necessarily has to be different at each resistor because the current is staying the same, but the resistance is changing. So whenever you have an equation where one side is, or one part of the equation is changing and the other is not, this value necessarily has to change. Whereas if you think about in a parallel circuit, the current, which you can think about, like I said, as the flow of electrons over time, has a choice. It can go down this resistor, or it can go down this resistor. And let's just say this had 10 ohms versus this had 5 ohms. More often than not, the current is going to choose the path that offers least resistance. So that means that it's going to choose more current is going to go this way, whereas less current is going to go this way. That doesn't mean all the current is going to go to resistor 2. That's not what I'm saying. But more is going to go down the path of least resistance. So now when you write out the equation V equals IR, we know that the current is necessarily different in each resistor, like I said, because more current is going to go to wherever there's less resistance, and less current is going to go to wherever there's more resistance. So in this example, if you have more current and you have less resistance, in the end, the V is going to work out to be constant for both resistors. And so that's why the voltage is constant in a parallel circuit, whereas in a series circuit, the voltage is an additive property.